Antwise Research used the mobile internet to collect consumer opinions. Uh, we're a three-year-old uh, company and have been uh, now running surveys via the mobile internet in 57 countries and actually yesterday we reached our 10 millionth survey. We've been working in helping brands understand the effectiveness of um, advertising and brand communications uh, for uh, the three years we've been ex in existence. A couple of different pain points that we found have been that um, brands have found it very difficult to understand all of the media touch points um, which, they, which a consumer has um, with their advertising. Have people seen um, adverts on TV? Have they seen them on um, billboard posters? Have they heard them on radio? Have they seen them on their mobile phone, for example? And so actually because mobile research enables people to understand um, in the moment uh, opinions uh, and understand people's reactions um, to those communications when they're actually seeing them or there and then, it enables them to understand all of these touch points um, throughout uh, a week or two weeks. Uh, as on device research we um, do mobile diaries and one of the big use cases for this is advertising touch points. Um, and that really helps our clients to understand the effectiveness of all of the um, communications that a brand will put out in their campaign. We work a lot with people in um, traditional media and so um, people in um, uh, TV stations for example or radio stations or um, billboard advertising companies uh, for that matter. Um, and so it's really interesting to um, catch up with all of these companies and understand what they're doing uh, and so how um, we can incorporate mobile into their advertising research at the moment. Um, but also, uh, we're just about to launch a new um, uh, technique for measuring the effectiveness of uh, mobile advertising. And so we're really interested in understanding uh, what people are doing in this uh, area uh, and seeing if um, we can help um, uh, people who are wanting to understand how um, brand messages on mobile are really affecting consumers' opinions. Um, where we've uh, had difficulties with this before uh, is that um, the way that online advertising research works in general is that people are cookied when they see a, an advert on their computer and they're then surveyed um, uh, later on and if uh, that survey reads a cookie on, on their computer then uh, the researcher knows that, that person has seen that advert for it. And so putting together test and control groups is generally done with this technique. The big difficulty with mobile uh, is that, in effect, third-party cookies don't work. Doing these test and control groups has traditionally been very difficult to do. Uh, we've thought around this um, problem um, for a while now. We've taken cookies out of the equation because cookies just don't work on mobile uh, and have, in effect, um, used a different type of um, uh, unique identifier um, to, be able, to be able to identify who has seen an advert and who hasn't seen an advert. And that enables us to get through that equation. And the second problem that happens with a lot of online advertising um, research is that a publisher generally needs to give quite a lot of impressions away to be able to get um, uh, a group of people to take a survey um, who have been exposed to an advert. And this puts friction uh, into the process of actually um, getting these people to, uh, to, to be involved in these studies in, in general. They, uh, the complexities of running these projects um, can be quite difficult, particularly if a publisher has to give away two million impressions, for example. They're not going to be too happy about that. And so what we've done to negate this problem uh, is we've worked with um, different ad networks to be able to retarget ads at particular people, which really enables um, the operations behind uh, this new solution to be fairly straightforward. So by putting together um, different types of unique identifiers, um, along with retargeting, um, we feel that we've got a solution for mobile advertising which is fit for purpose and appropriate for the mobile world. Uh, there are two sides to what we're doing. One is um, advertising effectiveness for kind of traditional media, uh, media touch points, and typically for mobile advertising effectiveness work. And so um, to give you an idea of uh, media to touch points work, um, we work with a number of the out-of-home media companies such as uh, Prime Sites or Clear Channel or JC Deco and uh, Power, um, uh, a particular um, one that I can talk about is um, something called Prime Mobile which is done for Prime Sites where we're um, understanding all different interactions with um, billboard advertising uh, and so that we can do surveys before and after uh, these touch points to understand the 
difference that this advertising really makes um, to consumers' uh, uh, opinions about, uh, about that brand. Uh, it's been a very successful um, service which we've been running for now about three years. On the mobile advertising effectiveness work, um, we've been doing some great and really, really interesting um, projects with that. Um, recently up for an award with ITV where we were doing uh, dual screening um, advertising research so this was around uh, the X Factor and um, really understanding um, the effect of um, app advertising when somebody is actually watching um, the X Factor so they have a uh, ad sync product which enables um, advertisers to put ads into um, the mobile app for the X Factor which people view uh, whilst they're actually watching um, uh, watching the X Factor at the same time. It has a multiplier effect um, of seeing the ad in um, a TV spot as well as seeing an ad um, on a, uh, a mobile app as well. It has a fantastic impact on people's opinion of that brand. Equally, we're just about to um, come out with a new piece of research for the AOP to understand um, how premium um, mobile publishers um, compare versus network sites, um, so ad networks and so on. And the results of that um, have not been made public yet, so I can't go into that in too much detail, um, but it's uh, an exciting project which we've worked on and completed the uh, field work of and uh, looking forward to the results of that coming out in the, the next uh, coming months.